May 2025. Ukraine comes under one of the most intense missile barrages since the war began. From Dnipropetrovsk to Odessa, Patriot systems scramble, but even they are overwhelmed. Russia isn't just firing missiles, it's deploying some of the most advanced evasive weapons in its arsenal. The Iskander-M and possibly the KN-23, North Korea's so-called Iskander clone. May 20th, an Iskander-M hits a Ukrainian Special Forces training camp. May 22nd, another strike takes out a US-supplied Patriot missile system. May 23rd, Odessa's port is rocked by explosions. Missiles destroy a container ship carrying military cargo. May 24th and 25, massive aerial assaults. Kyiv is bombarded by ballistic and cruise missiles, drones and decoys. Ukraine's Air Force spokesperson Yuri Inat says Russia has added radar decoys and maneuvering capabilities to its missiles, making even the Patriot Pac-3 struggle to keep up. The Iskander-M has been operational since the early 2000s. But what makes it special isn't just speed, it's intelligence. Quasi-ballistic trajectory doesn't fly straight, it maneuvers mid-air. Stealth shaping, low radar cross-section. Terminal maneuvering, evades interception near the target. Radar decoys, released in flight to create false radar targets and overwhelm defenses. These decoys mimic the missile's radar signature, making defense systems like the Patriot fire at shadows. Externally similar to the Iskander, the KN-23 is North Korea's own design. Larger, less accurate, but with growing potential. Range, up to 690 kilometers. Accuracy, approximately 30 to 50 meter CP. Terminal maneuvering, limited. Radar decoys, originally none but that may be changing. Some experts believe Russia is now modifying KN-23, just as it upgraded Iran's Duran drones. That includes better navigation, more maneuverability, and yes, decoys. The Patriot is one of the most advanced air defense systems in the world, but its software calculates where to intercept a missile based on a straight line path. When missiles like the Iskander-M start swerving in flight, the math gets complicated. The missile doesn't just fall, it performs maneuvers. That makes interception harder, not impossible. Ukraine says it shot down six of nine ballistic missiles on May 24th. But those three that broke through? They caused massive damage. Missiles like the Iskander-M and possibly the upgraded KN-23 represent a shift in modern warfare. Speed alone isn't the threat anymore. It's the deception, the misdirection and the ability to adapt mid-flight. If Russia can mass-produce upgraded KN-23S through North Korea's independent supply chains, it could flood Ukrainian skies with hard-to-hit, high-speed threats. Ukraine's allies may be upgrading air defences, but the missile game is evolving faster than ever, and the next Iskander, or KN-23, might be even harder to stop.